Hello, please watch this video to learn how to complete the online application for Fullerton College. You will have to complete two steps. Step one, create an OpenCCC account and sign in, and step two, the Fullerton College application. Let's begin. One, how to create your OpenCCC account and sign in. First, Go to the Fullerton College website by visiting fullcall.edu. Next, scroll all the way down and click on Apply Now. Then, click Begin Application. If you've applied to other community colleges, you took a dual enrollment class at your high school, or took a class at the Fullerton College campus, you may already have an account and can skip this step and sign in using the username and password you created. If you have never applied to a California Community College, click on Create an Account. 2. How to sign in to your OpenCCC account. For those of you who have an OpenCCC account, this is how you will sign in. Once you access the login page, you can input your username and password that you created to sign in. If you forgot your username or password, click the Forgot tab to retrieve your username and or password. Once you click on that tab, it will take you to a page shown on the right of the screen. Fill out the necessary information to access your username and retrieve your password. 3. How to create your OpenCCC account for those first applying to the college, this is how to create your OpenCCC account. First, click on Begin Creating My Account. After clicking Begin Creating My Account, you will begin inputting your personal information. As seen on the screen, type in your legal first, middle, and last name. Under Legal Name, please make sure you are spelling your name correctly. If you do not have a middle name, be sure to check the box indicating that you do not have a middle name. For the suffix portion, this just means that you are named after your parent. If you were, select the option in the drop-down menu that best applies to you. The previous name section applies to those who got married and therefore had a last name change, or also applies to those who changed their legal name. If these do not apply to you, click No and Continue. For the preferred name section, answer if you would like to be referred to another name other than your legal name, for example, a nickname, then continue. Continuing on page one, input your date of birth and for the year you were born, type out the full year with four numbers. For example, as seen on this screen, 2002 is typed out in full. Social security number, if you have a social security number, select social security number, then enter your social security number. Please repeat your social security number on the second line, then click continue. If you do not have a social security number, don't worry, you can still apply. For those who do not have a social security number, click the last box indicating you do not have a social security number, then click continue. Email. Inputting your email is very important, as most communication is via email. Therefore, enter your personal email, not your school email. Make sure this email is an email you can access and check regularly. Telephone. Enter your personal telephone number, not your parents' telephone number, unless you do not have a personal telephone number. This telephone number will be used to communicate with you regarding important information. Second telephone number is not required as it is only a backup telephone number in case Fullerton College cannot reach you on your main telephone number. Extension is only if you have an office phone number. Permanent address. For this section, input the address of the home you are located in. This may be a parent or relative's address. If you have a PO box, you can input this address as well. Keep in mind, this address will be used to send you mail. Click continue to proceed to the next page. Username and password. For the first part of this page, create a username and password that you can remember. After inputting this, 
Write it down somewhere so you can refer back to it when you need it again. A username is an identification that you create and will be used to access your OpenCCC account. Examples of usernames can be your name and a number or usernames used for social media, as long as they are appropriate. Please make sure to write this username down so you do not forget it. Then create a password you will remember and also write this password down so you can have access to your OpenCCC account when you log in later. This username and password will be used to access your OpenCCC account, where you will be able to submit your college applications. It is very important you remember this username and password. Security Pin The security pin is any four-digit number that you create, which will be used to access or retrieve your OpenCCC account. This is used for security purposes. Be sure to remember this four-digit number and also write it down somewhere for future use. Security Questions Security questions are used to access your OpenCCC account in case you forget your password or username. Choose any of the following security questions and type the answers to them. Make sure you remember the answers to the security questions you chose. Once everything is complete, click I am not a robot. Wait for the loading symbol to finish and then click create my account. If you do not click on the I am not a robot and wait for it to finish loading, you may need to start the application over again. Lastly, once everything is completed, you may click create my account. After clicking create my account, this message, account created, will show up. You may then click continue to proceed to the actual college application. 4. Start a new application. You will now begin the Fullerton College application. First, click Start a new application. 5. Begin application. The Enrollment tab is where you will select the term you're applying for, an educational goal, and your intended major or program. It's important to select an educational goal and major to ensure your promised benefits. Your major is not set in stone, so you are able to change it in the future at any time. Please make sure you select the correct term you are applying for. This part of the application wants you to review your personal information that you submitted in the OpenCCC account and make sure all of the information is correct. If any edits need to be made, click on Edit Account and make the necessary changes. Parent slash Guardian Information Select the statement that best applies to you. If none apply to you, select the box that states, none of these statements above are true about me, and then input your parent's name. Current mailing address. If your mailing address is the same as the permanent address in my OpenCCC account above, check off the box. But if it's different, input and update your application with the new mailing address, then click continue. Under College Enrollment Status, select First Time Student in College After Leaving High School. Under High School Education, select Received High School Diploma from U.S. School. And under High School Completion Date, input the date you will graduate from high school, then continue on. Under Last High School Attended, click on I Attended High School, then type in your high school's name. After typing in your high school's name, Make sure your school is selected from the drop-down menu. Once you see your high school, click on it and then continue. High School Transcript Information First answer if you have completed the 11th grade. Then input your unweighted high school GPA. If you are unsure of your high school GPA, use ARIES or a program your high school uses to monitor your grades to access your high school transcript information. And then input your GPA. Then answer the next questions with the option that best applies to you. In this section, also select the option that best applies to you. Citizenship slash military. Under citizenship, select the option that best applies to you in the drop-down menu. If you are a US citizen, select that option and move on to the military question. 
If your parent or guardian or siblings are in the military, select the option that best applies to you and complete the necessary information. Then click Continue. If you are not a U.S. citizen, please listen to the following options. If you are a U.S. permanent resident or hold a visa, not F1 or F2 visa, or undocumented slash out of status, you can still complete and submit the online application. You may be required to submit additional information. The Admissions and Records Office will contact you if additional documents are necessary. If you are a permanent resident, temporary resident slash under amnesty, a refugee or an asylee, please select that option that best applies to you and include the alien registration number and then move on to the military question. If parents or siblings are in the military, select the option that best applies to you and complete the necessary information. If it does not apply to you, select the option and then click continue. Visa students. If you are an international student or have a visa, please select the visa type and include the issue date and visa expiration date. You may be asked to provide additional information. Then continue on to the military question. No documents. If you are a DACA student or a student who is not born in the U.S., please select Other and check the box that states No Documents. Just note that by clicking No Documents, Admissions and Records may contact you to provide further information later. Once the box is checked, click Continue. Residency. Under California Residence, select the answer that best applies to you. If you select no when stating if guardians have been in California since August 23, 2018, you will have to add the date of when your guardian's stay in California began. If you haven't lived in California since that date, make sure you select the date. Special Residency Under Special Residency Categories, select the option that best applies to you regarding your residency status and then click Continue. Under the Needs and Interest tab, answer the questions to the best of your ability. For programs and services, click on the ones that interest you. You will then be emailed with additional information about the programs and services you selected. Once you've selected the programs and services, click Continue. Demographic Information Please answer these questions to the best of your ability. If you are unsure what gender identity and gender expression mean, Click on their links on the application to learn more. Once done with this section, click Continue. Supplemental Questions In this section, you will create a password. Make sure you remember this password because this will be used to sign in to your My Gateway with your college ID number. Supplemental Questions Continue In this section, please answer the following questions to the best of your ability. Submission once you've reached this submission page, review your application to make sure all information provided is correct, and if there are no errors, scroll down to the next sections. Read this statement and select the option that agrees with you the most. This will also be the case for the next two questions on this page. Please read the statement and check the boxes. After reviewing your application and responding to the sections on this page, Click Submit My Application. Congratulations! You have now completed the Fullerton College application. If you have any questions, please contact the Educational Partnerships and Outreach team at our Instagram at fullcall underscore outreach, our email at outreach at fullcall.edu, or through our outreach website at outreach.fullcall.edu. Thank you and have a great day!